welcome to Taste Review number 12. Yes, the big 12. Got a couple for you. Um, thought about going snacks, but just going to go ahead and finish off the Zoas, these next two. So 12 and 13, we'll have a Zoa involved. Uh, in this case, we do have the Zoa, as I kind of talked about, the pineapple coconut. Zoa pineapple coconut. Again, these are, this is an energy drink. Um, that the rock promotes so again there you have it and then this one I've been saving this for a while the only thing is I'm not a pop guy I quit drinking pop like years and years ago so it's probably gonna taste really really sugary to me because I haven't had a pop in a long time but it is the new Pepsi mango yeah Pepsi mango Mango is one of those uh, flavors that seem to be a little bit more powerful when they're artificial, you know, compared to the real fruit. Um, I love mangoes, but the artificial mango is a lot stronger, so I'm expecting this to be pretty good. Um, not a huge fan of, like, flavored sodas when it comes to, like, just the actual, like, Coke or Pepsi, and then they flavor it. The cherries are always good. The vanillas are hit or miss sometimes so um, when I did drink pop I usually stuck to the same just the basics um, I did have cherry coke I like cherry coke when it was out or it is out but when I did drink pop so yep so Pepsi mango and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Pepsi mango because I'll probably want to get all that sugary taste out of my mouth so go ahead and open it up brand new bottle give it the good old smell test yeah, see, you can smell the mango right away. Yeah. I mean, you taste the mango. And soda, see, soda just doesn't taste good to me anymore. But very strong mango presence, so... If you're a mango fan and you're a Pepsi fan or a Coke fan, or you just love pop and you love mango, I say go for it. I mean, again, not a soda guy, but Pepsi, mango, very strong mango. So I think you'll really enjoy it if you're a mango flavored person. Hell, if you just like any kind of fruit flavors to your pops, that's the way to go. That's good job, Pepsi. Definitely nailed it right on the head. So. All right, digging in. Zoa, pineapple coconut. Not a huge coconut fan, but I love pineapple. So let's see if this can kind of offset it. Um, coconut flavoring is not bad. It's more of the, I can't have like almond joys or mounds because the coconut texture just kind of, I don't know, it's very unsettling in my mouth. Sorry, but it just is. I mean... It smells like a tropical drink. I mean, you smell the coconut, you smell the pineapple. So the smell is there. The smell is definitely there. It smells kind of like a pina colada, so. Woo! Very, very strong coconut taste. Right out the gate. You do have some of that sweetness in the pineapple. Um... But no, the coconut definitely overpowers it. So if you're a coconut fan and you want that sweetness too, this is right up your alley. Tastes a little bit more pineapple in that second drink. But still, that coconut, that is the aftertaste. That is the first uh, flavor that kind of just hits you right in the face. So it is mainly coconut. You do get a little bit of the pineapple, you know, kind of kind of filters through there. But, again, smells like a pina colada. Kind of tastes like a pina colada, just without the coconut texture, you know. This would be a good energy drink on a very, very hot day. Or right before, a, you know, like a wad or just an extremely hard workout. But definitely a drink for a very hot day. I mean, it's 
it's got that beach vibe to it. So, um, coconut fan, definitely recommend if you're looking more pineapple. It doesn't have a ton of pineapple in the flavoring, but you still get it through there. You get that sweetness too. Uh, so overall, not bad. Um, the wild orange is still better in my personal opinion, but again, I kind of thought it would be with the coconut. I'm not a huge coconut guy, so. Oh, excuse me, burping from all the carbonation here. Uh, so yeah, if you're a Pepsi or a Mango fan, definitely hit this. Great taste, you know, very, very strong mango presence. And then uh, if you're a huge coconut fan, this is not bad. Uh, I'm just, I'm not a big coconut guy, so if that's you, give it a try. The flavoring's there, the taste is there, the pineapple gives it that sweetness that you want, so it being no sugar, you still have that that uh, fixing for the sweets right there, so no sugar, but that pineapple really kicks it in there. Mmm, smells good too, it smells, it smells like I should be laying on a beach drinking this bad boy, so good job, Rock. Not bad. Good job, Pepsi. Not bad. Um, again, if you like what you see, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you don't, uh, you can give us thumbs down. We do like honesty, but at the same time, you don't have to. I mean, I won't be mad if you don't give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Uh, if you have any comments or you want to know more about these, where to pick them up, uh, leave it in the comments. I'll answer, but... I'll tell you right now, Pepsi Mango, you can get any gas station. I found mine at Kroger. Uh, the ZOA, I found at GNC, and I think Amazon has them now. So, um, heck, any recommendations, go ahead and comment below. But uh, until next time, thank you for tuning in with Tokyo, and we'll catch you later, guys. Thanks.